Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight, which is returning. More on that later. Um, actually, tomorrow you'll find out more on what's going on. This is... and I'm back in my normal save file, yes. Oh, my normal mod folder. This is Nickerson's farm, which, if you played Farming Simulator 2013, you'll know it's a Chris 7710 map, and you'll be asking, Hey, didn't he quit modding? The answer is yes, he did. WBF, the WBF came along, uh, presumably with Chris's permission, and converted Nickerson's farm to 2015. And I gotta say, he did a pretty good job of it. So this is your main farmyard, your main grain farmyard, I should say. You can store your wheat, your barley, and your canola over here. You know there's no storage for corn, or potatoes, or sugar beets. That's intended, there isn't supposed to be any. Some fertilizer over here. Sorry that the camera's deciding to try and get through buildings. Um, I'll come back to the start of vehicles actually, and what's over here. Uh, there should be a seed point around here as well, actually, I've just realized. There's a cedar... Yep, over there. Seed point over there, cedar there. So. Pretty big map. Nine, ten fields. My apologies, I didn't spot field ten. These fields are huge. Just, just, and immense. Take the biggest field on... Whisper chills multiply by about three or four, and you've got. But field four is probably twice the size of the biggest field on. Well, about the same size as the biggest field on Whisper chills. Maybe a small bit smaller. Yeah, it's, it's big, and field four is, from what I can see, the smallest field in this map. So that was your main farm. If I come over and down this way. Question mark? I think it's this way. Yes. Come down this way. We get to your secondary main farm. This is your kind of storage, your vehicle storage area, contractor's yard. And as you can see, you got a couple more vehicles here. Tight laneways everywhere. That's kind of a theme once you get off the main roads. You know, it's, it's, it's a challenge to get through some of these areas, even, well, with this, with the pickup, not so hard. Imagine driving this in a grain cart or a combine, because there's not too many ways into some of these fields, and you would have to come up with inventive solutions. You know, this is, it's a map that is made to challenge and was made to challenge you originally and I'm kind of glad WBF kept to that theme of it's you know it's big and it's realistic and it's gonna challenge you so down there is um, I think there's a third entrance to field 8 down there I'm gonna kind of ignore field entrances for now because there's not a whole lot in terms of well it, there's not a whole lot in terms of cell points on this map so I'm just going to make a beeline for the cell point. Well, there's two cell points. But as far as I can see, there's only one. Oh, hang on. I may have missed some storage. Because I've just spotted a yard I haven't spotted before. So I'm going to turn around. It's down the left-hand side of the road because that's the way the traffic works. Well done, WBF, for getting the traffic lines right. I didn't spot this before, but there does seem to be a second yard up here. Woodlands View Stables. Sell your straw and hay here. So, yeah, this is the extra yard I saw. Now 
that's the way into field seven over here, is it? Yep. Okay. So I played on Nickerson's in 2013 quite a lot. And I normally played on the mixed farming version of it. There was an all arable version, but honestly I wasn't too fond of it. I just don't like going all arable. Um, I know I do it quite regularly, but I just don't like being forced down the one route, to be honest. Um, yeah, if you have... I'm, I'm going to go through a few things you'll probably want with this map. Um, momentarily. Because I th think WBF screwed with the growth times. Which may or may not be a good thing. Depends on your viewpoint. Whoops. Is this the way in? Yes. So there's, I think, the only fuel point. No, there's a fuel point up at your store, in the, up at the farm that has grain storage. That's the only other fuel point on the map. And down in here, you have, intentionally going a bit slowly, British Root Crops and MGN, Grain Merchants. These are the only two cell points on the map. So MGN grain over here will take all of your grains. And... You know, that was a feature of the original map too, and I never liked it. was just that you're dumping into a concrete bit of the ground. I kind of wish they put some sort of dynamic trigger down there. And here's British root crops. Same thing going on there. You're just dumping into a flat ground area. Um, what? To, I'm, I'm wondering, did he put everything into this map? Kind of. Um, there... As you can see, you can only sell wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, and sugar beets. Not wood chips. There's no way to get wood chips. Now, that basically means this map... I don't think should be gold standard on FSUK. It is, but I don't think it should be. I think gold standard on FSUK should be has all functionalities of FS15, including wood chip sales and forestry. This map doesn't. It's gold standard on FSUK because the log is error free, there's no major problems with it. I can deal with that, but I, you know, it's 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 a functionality thing as well. And quite honestly, FSUK is bringing out. Is there's so few mods coming out in FSUK now that FSUK really needs to take a stand for quality. And I don't think it is. Um, with the gold standard system they have, the gold and silver standard. This map, silver standard, perfectly fine with this is gold standard and it doesn't have full functionality in FS15. So this area here that I've been doing donuts in is the shop. When you buy vehicles, they will spawn in over in here. I know this because I've played the map so much. Uh, field 2 used to be like four different fields. And you can see there are a couple of grass fields still if you want to make hay. Um, no animals on this map at all. Uh, what else? The three storage areas I showed you at the very start of the video, they are the only storage on the map. So here's where it comes to me telling you what mods you'll probably need for f uh, something vaguely resembling full functionality. This map will never have full functionality. It will always be... I'm gonna say silver standard to me. It's it's all it's never gonna be fully functional unless WBF brings out a, a V2. And I'm I'm gonna pull over. I'm not calling WBF out here. He converted the map and kept it authentic and true to its what it was in 2013. I'm not calling WBF out here. It's a brilliant map. I'm glad he did it. I'll be playing on this off camera quite a bit. I might even do a series on it if I want to do a, a series where I do nothing but arables. The issue I have is FSUK made this map gold standard. And gold standard 
in my eyes, is something that has 100% functionality, works perfectly, and you can do absolutely everything in the game. This map doesn't have animals, this map doesn't have forestry. They're two quite big functionalities of FS15, and I'm just gonna do donuts around this house. Um, it doesn't have it. There's no storage for anything other than wheat, barley, and canola on this map. But you can sell everything. So, your choices then are limited to, well, I can do nothing but wheat, barley, and canola, but then I'll get sick and tired of doing nothing but wheat, barley, and canola. You do have an alternate choice, thanks to the UPK. You can get the UPK, and you can decide, okay, well, I can turn the secondary farm where the harvester is into another storage farm or even put some placeable piles up here at this farm or down on the road somewhere or in the you know in somebody's back garden somewhere and you know I can have full functionality in terms of crops um, and crop storage that's fine UPK um, placeable piles I fully support it I love using placeable piles issue is you can't place them in a, in a shed um, <laughs> they use the normal placeable script so you can't put, put them into a shed. Um, bit of an issue. So let's have a look at... Yeah, let's have a look at entrances to fields. So this is field 2 over here. I'm just double checking. Yes, field 2. You can go up here through up by the storage which is rather lovely. I believe there's a second entrance down here at the bottom and yes I'm just cutting across the field it's the quickest way to get through it because this damn field is huge um, if if you want a map to do large-scale arable multiplayer farm sim look no further my friends yes there's a second entrance down here if you're coming from the main road it just pops out right here the main road's just down there I'm going to go back into the field because I believe there is a third entrance. If you are one of those people who decide, no, I shall not enter from the storage area. No, I shall not enter from the main road heading up towards the storage area. But I shall go down by the shop and I shall enter down there. Well, might I say you have an entrance down here, my friends. Yes. In fact, I think you have two. Maybe just the one, okay. You have an entrance all the way down here where I turned around earlier on. That's fine. There's another... There's uh, fields for hay down there. I'm not going to show entrances to them. Because, by and large, you're not going to need them. So, let's have a look for field. Nine's entrance. Okay. I mean, I'm just basically wasting time here. Field 9 has an entrance over here somewhere. But where is it? Because I honestly don't know. Is it... Let's have a look at the map. Ah! Okay. <laughs> a quick flick of the map tells me where the field entrance is. It's actually up here. You can see. There's the entrance to field 9. The official entrance, you can enter, well, basically anywhere along the grass verge. And for field 10, you just go up to the top of this hill here. And you can pop yourself into the field. Now, is there a field 8 entrance up here as well? Or, oh. Okay, no entrance to field 8 up here. Yes, I just cut across how to deal with it. One and three, you can enter pretty much by the grain storage. I'm not going to show you that. They're massive, huge entrances. Field aid, I'm kind of curious about because no. Is there an entrance at all anywhere down here? Or are those two particularly awkward areas? They are. Okay, so one is the one that I came up with, came up through earlier on. That's where I went down. I 
there's actually a third entrance to field eight which is really really tight but you can probably put a harvester through all three that's probably the best one if you want to start harvesting um, none of the three are particularly wonderful in terms of usability field six or field seven even and enjoy this map is a lot of roads loop around on themselves so field seven you'll want to be going down here and there is the entrance Field 6, if I have a look at the map, because that's where I'm going by. Um, there might be a cut through over here somewhere, by the looks of the map. No. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, that was showing off the thing. There's a little murky pond over there. Oops. Field 6, um, but the looks of it, 5. Ah, you come up through here. Whoops. By the looks of it, at least. You come up through here, and you're into field 5. And does this road continue on? Yes, it does. So if you continue on down there, you're into field 6. I'm not going to drive all the way down there. Um, just for the sake of time, field 6 is down at the bottom of that road. And field 4 is at the end of this main road that goes straight through the middle of the map. Not straight, but mostly straight. So as for starting vehicles, well, the pickup isn't red, so that's a starter vehicle. Um, you actually spawn right beside it, which is actually a nice little detail. Um, something that's been picked up from Chris's maps. 2015 WBF has done it as a bit, a kind of, I suppose, an homage, unless Chris7710 was actually working with him on this map. Um, I don't know if there are future versions planned that bring in, well, livestock would be nice. Um, I definitely don't count a map as complete if it doesn't have livestock, so I don't count this map as being complete, to be honest. But, if you want just arable farming, good man. Actually, probably not so good if you only want to play it single player. Um, because it is quite huge. And our tip isn't out yet. <laughs> to put it bluntly. So, start our vehicles. Obviously this. A pickup. You get quite a nice T6160, a 700 kilo weight, Cockerling, Vitasem, and the Amazon plow, which is a bit unusual, um, which I don't think, how much does this need? Oh, never mind. Both the tractors you get will pull it. You get the front loader for the New Holland, you get fuel tanker, you quite bizarrely get the Flegel Bull. Um, we're just starting off with a big enough trailer, which I can kind of understand based on the size of the map. You also get pallet forks for absolutely no reason. They have no need to be in the map. That's a bit of a silly thing. A shovel. And a bale fork for kind of the similar reason to the pallet fork. You'd, if you make bales, you'd be using an auto loader, really. You also get the case IH7130 Axial Flow, a suitable header. Uh, this is the one that doesn't have its own header trailer attached, so, so you also get the uh, blue bitchy camera. The TAM Ligon Quattro 40 for the 40 foot header, presumably. You also get the case IH Puma 160 CVX and another 700 kilo weight. Was there more back here? Because I can't remember. Nothing in there. Anything hiding in here? No? No? Let's double check the garage. T6, Puma, 
We have in front loader, bail spike, pallet fork, universal bucket. Do, 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 do. I covered everything. In 20 minutes exactly. Wonderful. Um, gotta leave it here. This has been your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight of Nickerson's farm. His name I didn't almost forget. Um, leave your comments below and WBF if you're watching this I am definitely not taking pot chats at you. I just voiced my opinions and oh the ducks. Where's the hundreds because they look like the they look like decoys. Um I'm not taking shots at you if <laughs> quite honestly I would say the same thing if literally anybody made this map even if Chris made this map I would say the same thing uh, whoops because I thought the same thing in 2013 when he did it without animals um, quite honestly I, I always find that maps without like major functionalities of the game like in 2013 animals in 2015 animals and forestry because forestry is now a major thing in the game um, whether you like it or not um, you'll probably notice I avoid forestry as much as I can. Um, but, you know, it is a major part of the game and it is missing from this map. So, yeah, there are some, obviously it's a Chris 7710 map. Really nice details around the place. I don't want to spoil them all for you, so if you want to play this, um, play on this map, play it. And... That's an unfortunate place name. <sighs> Play it, explore, find the little details for yourself. Quite often in places, they are completely unnecessary, like these questionably photoshopped pictures of rabbits. <laughs> or this pile of wood. Or this saw or an axe on some pallets I can leave it here um, leave your comments below like I said WBF if you're watching for whatever reason um, I'm not taking shots at you personally or your work you did a damn fine job with this um, seriously I couldn't do this <laughs> I hope any of my criticisms are constructive uh, I don't aim for them to be destructive. Stand in some smoke. I don't aim for my criticisms to be, like, not constructive. I, I think this map would actually... I think this map would benefit from having forestry and... Um, animals. I mean, it's a big map. I think it's almost too big to just do arable farming. <laughs> Field 2 is definitely too big. I mean, wow. And I always thought that, but yeah, I'm just giving my honest opinions, and um, I'm not, with any of my spotlights, I don't take personal shots at anyone, except if they make something truly horrible, um, <laughs> like the check map. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, um, I'll see you next time, the we more information in uh, tomorrow's video on future videos for the channel and what on earth is going on with map and mod spotlight suddenly appearing if you're interested um, until then stay safe and goodbye